plane, the plane! She's a pretty one! My dear guests, I am Mr. Rourke, your host. Welcome to Fantasy Island. Welcome back to my channel, Shade TV. My name is Marissa Hill. If you're new to my channel, do not forget to smash that subscribe button as well as give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Feel free to leave me any comments or questions down below as well as do not forget to hit that notification bell if you haven't already so that you are alerted as soon as we have any new and uploaded content. Also, we've got that new join button down below. So if you haven't already checked that out, be sure to do so. We've got a lot of added perks for all of our Shade Gang members, so be sure to check out those cheers. Also, we have a ton of heat on our new Shade Gang merch store, so be sure to check out all those new uploaded items that we have available. Whew, I know, it's getting steamy over here. We're on Fantasy Island, it feels like. It's just like freaking hot for a moment, but I had to leave. So now here we are back at the studio, unfortunately, because our guest, as they already know, I, I can't afford to stay even more than 15 minutes on the island. It's like 50 grand for three days. Um, isn't that right, Mr. Rourke and Tattoo? $50,000 for one weekend. And how much did you guys charge me for that 15 minutes that I was on the island for? $4,500. Oh my God. God. Plus tax. So I'm pretty sure I was actually only there for like five minutes. So if maybe we could deduct 10 minutes off of my time, that would be much appreciated. That's not how we work the business. All right. I think I'm going to need one of those uh, cocktails, Mr. Rourke. Or maybe I can offer in exchange for that time spent on the island, a pair of these Yeezy 350 V2 Santopes. The boost, the boost. See, fair trade, fair trade. I stay a little bit on the island and you get to go home with a new pair of shoes. I know it doesn't exactly match your all white wardrobe, but I think we can make it work. Sometimes we get what we wish for. All right. So on today's video, we are going to go through an overview of the Yeezy 350 V2 Santopes. We are then going to talk about the sizing and fit of the shoe, followed by how I was able to style these very minimalistic colored shoes. And then we're going to conclude with how these are currently doing on the resale market. So without further ado, let us get into the overview on this specific colorway. As you guys know, we are now in the year 2021. This was actually the last colorway to drop in the 350 V2 silhouette series in the sand taupe color scheme. And, you know, I think this is a great color to end the year off with. It's very neutral and a tone that definitely is going to go with a lot of different options. We have seen kind of this tannish coloring scheme in a lot of other Yeezys. So I've also done a video on the Earth. If you guys haven't checked that video out, be sure to go back and view that. But I feel like that was a very similar color and tone. Also other Yeezy uh, silhouettes such as the 500 Blush had similar colors. We had the 350 V2 Flax color scheme as well as the 350 Oxford Tan. So definitely a very popular color as far as all of the color options that Yeezy has used on their different silhouettes. And I think this was, you know, a very nice different kind of option they gave us with this nice kind of blush salmon coloring scheme on the side of the shoe on the lateral part. Now uh, let's get into this prime knit. So we definitely have this mixture of sand and taupe on the prime knit on the front of the toe box here. The stripe has kind of a nice peachy tone to it. 
and it's kind of got some brown and tan coloring throughout that. Our laces are this nice kind of taupe coloring scheme. We've got that no tie lace system as well. And we do not have a pull tab on the back of this specific shoe. As always, they have been giving us an extra pair of shoes. Ooh, but these are actually a different pattern and different color. It looks like that's actually reflective and it kind of has like a white tone to it with that brown tan coloring scheme. So again, unfortunately you have to cut these off if you do want to switch to this just tie lacing system as opposed to the no tie lace system, but it is different. Usually they give you the same coloring scheme, but this time it is completely patterned. So that's kind of nice, I guess, you know, you're really going to have to love the secondary lace option to want to have to cut that off if that's what you choose to do. So we have this beautiful multicolored prime knit upper semi-translucent midsole on the bottom. We've got that full length boost cushioning and that faint salmon orange, which I think just really pops. I mean, we've got it on half of the tongue as well, but it just kind of gives this shoe a little something, something, which is kind of nice. And the insole is again, just matching that kind of tan coloring scheme with the Yeezy and Adidas in black on the inside. For the outsole, again, it's just that matching kind of translucent coloring scheme. All right, now let's get into sizing. So for me personally with Yeezys, I do tend to go half a size up on most silhouettes, specifically the 350 V2. I do like to have a little more extra room in my shoe. So depending the type of shoe that you guys like to wear, if you like your toes to be at the edge of the toe box, then I think you should be fine sticking true to size. But for me, I do like a little extra space in that toe box, especially since these specifically are very narrow and there's just not a lot of room above your toe in that spacing there. So it can feel a little bit crammed, a little bit claustrophobic, and that's why I do like to go a half a size up. So typically I'm a 7.5 and these I went with a size eight. And for those of you who don't know my shoe type, I do have high arches, narrow feet and that will also depend on your sizing as well. If you're flat footed, I would definitely go up a size, half a size, just based upon the fact that you're gonna fill up a little more space. All right, now let's talk about styling. I know you two, I don't have a lot of white, but maybe there's one option there that you guys may agree with. Um, these were some fun, fun shoes to style just because it's an easy colorway to, to go with. All right, so for the first look, I wore a kind of tan sand taupe-ish blazer on top of this kit hoodie that's cropped and I feel like this hoodie just really has some of these same coloring themes as the shoes so I felt like that was a great match as well as that blazer and then for the bottoms I wore just some nice comfy kind of velvety uh, green jeans. As a two-year-old and she know it Got me at a loss for words though I'm a poet Watch it when she bag it up, toot it and throw it In a circle hurt you by virtue when she show it We been here before, the garments and the decor is different Now I'm tripping off, this is a love of war Saw y'all in my dreams, a castle in pink dress Princess toes to I told you, how could I think less? Taking over my soul and saying that my weak flesh Don't even know And then for the second option, I wore some Adidas printed It's like a cheetah print uh, leggings with my essentials neutral kind of creamish uh, crew neck those colors I think just really went well and I also wanted to show you guys I think these shoes go really well with different patterns also name feel lame with each breath but practicing my game the same with each step excuse me miss I'm the sh how we rep but right at that moment as soon as I had a plan another guy slid by and grabbed her by the hand can't tell if it's a man but she called me by my eyes said we can't meet here but you can meet me in the sky meet me in the sky So high. 
Girl, I can't breathe without your love. Come on, be mine. Yo. Meet me in the sky where the stars touch Me, you and God holding hands over stardust And the universe works in our favor You've been praying for a man but you your own savior For the last and final look, I wore my Ivy Park kind of cream pants that have that kind of nice Bordeaux wine coloring scheme on the stripes I matched that with a nice uh, beanie to go with the stripe coloring scheme as well as a cream faux for coat with a nice kind of beige turtleneck underneath. I thought I was gonna actually have some struggles with not copying the Ivy Park shoes uh, when her first collab launched with Adidas, but I found that I've had a lot of other color schemes that really do work with those pants. And I think that the Santopes work perfectly with the Ivy Park collection and that cream and kind of burgundy color scheme. I'm just here to walk you into the light, hold you up for support, comfort you in the night, unfold your wings, teach you about flight. Your eyes hurt the first time you perceive sight and I see you looking, see you looking from the dance floor, Millie rocking like you cooking, trying to think of words to say to make my approach, avoiding eye contact until I know we close and I know the mood is right and the time too. Not sure how many lives I live to find you, but you're here now. That makes two of us. Said you the only one that takes two of us Meet me in the sky oh, 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 Never knew I could fly so high All right, so let me know at the end what was your guys' favorite out of the three outfits or how would you decide to dress them up? All right, now let us conclude. Before we stop, please. Oh. I have a question. Yes, that do. Were you making fun of me when you said kiss? Are you making fun of my lisp? I would never make fun of a lisp, ever. I don't know why you would think that, Tattoo. I love your lisp. It gives you personality. Quiet, Tattoo. Let her finish her film. Appreciate that, Mr. Rourke. All right, so now let's get into the resell and talk about how well these shoes are currently doing. So these retail at $220, and we will start with base sizes, which around a size four to eight are going for $260 on the lower end and $310 on the higher end. And the larger sizes, so eight and above, are doing a little bit less than what the smaller sizes are going for. So 240 to 270. And yeah, that's not a bad price point if you guys are in love with these shoes. I don't think you're going to drain your wallet necessarily. So definitely a good opportunity to get these if this is a color for you. How are size two selling? Oh, for tattoo. Yeah. Um you may be able to find, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know if we have that size for you, tattoo. I'm sorry. Maybe, maybe you could just rock some larger uh, shoes. How about that? I have some big shoes to fill. That you do. That you do. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much for tuning into my channel, Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill. Thank you, Mr. Rourke and Tattoo for allowing me to stay on your island for 10 minutes. It was very enjoyable. Uh, <laughs> if you're new to my channel, do not forget to smash that subscribe button as well as give this video a thumbs up as these thumbs ups do mean the world to the channel and help our videos get viewed. So be sure to take that one second to hit that thumbs up as well as leave me any comments or questions that you guys may have down below if you have any and hit that notification bell because we have a ton of heat coming out this year that I don't want you guys to miss out on as well as perks. If you guys are looking to venture into more perks with the channel, be sure to check out that Shade Gang tier and see what we have to offer as well as our new Shade Gang merch. Be sure to check out our new store, you guys. All right, so I think we are going to potentially be doing a duet together. Maybe called a triet. I was gonna say, is that, what do you call that? Uh, a triet and uh, we're gonna get to that. All right, you two, is it time to give our subscribers a chance to guess who our next guests will be? Let's do it! All right, let's do this. You're as cold as ice. You're willing to sacrifice some love. You are paradise. But 
someday you'll pay the price, I know. I've seen it before. It happens all the time. You're closing the door. You leave the world behind. You're digging for gold. You're throwing away a fortune in feelings, but someday you'll pay. I love these Sun Top 350s, but I wish the color was a little different. Like, maybe cloud white. Ah! Oh, look at this hue! Wait a minute. This isn't cloud white. This is cloud white! Oh, my poor little tattoo. You wished for a shoe color that would match your suit perfectly. But you got more than what you wished for. <laughs>